Hey, what's up, coaches? Dave Bishop here once again for RTDB Run the Damn Ball. Hey, what a great response we had last week from Coach Christmas and his videos over a thousand minutes watched in six days. That's pretty impressive. Uh, continue to uh, check us out. Uh, one of the things we want to do is make sure that you subscribe. Last week we had a bump at about 20 to 30. I want to continue to do that because like I said, 70% of you that are watching are not subscribed to the channel. If there are things that you like in this channel, we're going to go ahead and only give certain things out to those that subscribe and as a way to just try to say, hey, thank you, as well as trying to push. I'll just be honest with you. We're going to push some of our stuff and get us to the point where we're giving you guys things that have helped us be successful for over 40 years when you take coach christmas's nearly 50 years experience and my 30 that is a lot of knowledge as well as building programs in different states and having success in each one of those stops so um, continue to subscribe like the channel share it with some of your friends i apologize last week i did not give you a secret there's a reason uh, we are in the process of moving and every time I turn around, my schedule gets changed uh, last second. I have to do something. So we're going to pause that probably until July. And those secrets that we're going to give you are going to be based on some of your summer stuff, um, some ideas that we may have on culture, as well as preparing for your season. Some things that we've done that have helped us have the success that we've had. So again, secrets will be paused until July. And just so you guys know, um, Probably not a good idea to schedule a cross-country clinic um, while you're moving. Not good idea. Just saying. Um, so while I have people that are flying me out, uh, I am doing that in the week that we are supposed to move. So my week just got shortened. My wife did as well. So just uh, heads up, FYI, don't do what I did. Um, other questions that I received this week, and so if you are interested in a playbook, I can tell you what our playbook will entail. It'll give you everything you need to install this offense. And when I say everything, I mean everything, including our numbering system, which is unique to the system. No one, and when I say no one, no one runs the numbering system unless you got it from us. And then maybe they have shared it, but it is way different than anything you will ever experience or see. Um, that playbook has numbering system. It has installations, formations, uh, our calls, our no huddle calls. It has drills written, drills with written progressions, as well as video that goes with it. So if you're interested in that playbook, hit me up in my email, coachbishop at coachboard.com. Um, while you're doing that, guys, one of the other things I'm going to push and just show you, uh, if you are a wing T guy, again, like I said, I'm a multiple wing T guy. Uh, Coach Christmas is the guru in the wishbone, but we installed this multiple wing tee offense. And uh, one of the things that we did is put in our Buffalo package. And why am I talking about it? Well, there are some plays that we have that we run in our wing tee that are based out of this wishbone because now we can run some inside ISO against 50 fronts out of that package. So, hey, without further ado, Coach Christmas, he's going to go ahead and finish up his talk on complimentary plays to the inside ISO. Hey, coaches. Welcome back to Run the Damn Ball session. Uh, we're going to take up where we left off uh, on the multiple audible wishbone. Just quick review, just a little bit. Uh, the key to this offense is being able to call the play at the line of scrimmage, to see what the defense is lined up in, and then to call the play. Uh, the key is to have that quarterback as an extension of you. It's got to be as if you're standing behind him saying, run the ball right here. Uh, the way we do that is I signal in a type of play that I want to run, a blast, a dive, a trap, an option, whatever it is. The quarterback has a simple pre-snap read. So he sees how the defense is lined up. And he's got a simple pre-snap read a different read for each type of play. And uh, he determines the point of attack. He calls it and we run the ball right there. Uh, in doing that, you have no wasted plays. Every play is a positive yardage play, which is, I think, critical. You uh, pick up consecutive first downs, you frustrate the defense, you put together long drives, you eat up the clock, you end the drive with a score. And, uh, and that's the key to this offense. 
specifically last week, we talked about our inside blast play. Now we'll run the blast at, at a variety of points of attack, but our inside blast play, we showed it against an even front, against an odd front. Then we talked about some complementary plays off of it that our zero, excuse me, our trap, our little inside quick trap is a complementary play off our inside uh, blast. Our off tackle trap, which is a full flow trap, unlike the rest of our traps that are counter traps, our off tackle trap is a full flow trap. It's off of our inside blast play. Now we've got two other complementary plays off of that. One is the reverse, and then we've got our play action passes against it. So I want to start off talking to you a little bit about the reverse. Let me see if I can pull up a diagram of that. And uh, Okay. So <clears throat> right here, I've got it against an odd front. And from the center to the play side tackle, we're going to base block. All right. So right here, we're going we're gonna to fake the inside blast to the right. Okay. Fullback takes his slide step. Halfback takes his slide step. They get in tandem. They execute a freeze technique at that inside linebacker. That halfback sells that he's got the ball. <coughs> Critical. Quarterback reverses out two quick six o'clock steps, extends the ball, rides that halfback up as far as he can reach and pulls the ball out and hands it to the tight end coming around, or we could be in our right, uh, you know, our right wing, and it could be a halfback coming around, or a ray wing, could be a slot coming around. Uh, backside halfback in our three back sets, he executes his option track. All right, now, a couple of things. First of all, the play side guard, the side we're faking the play, the inside blast, is going to pull and he's going to bleed the lead blocker. But let me talk about what those backside, play side of where the reverse is going, but backside of where the play fake is going. They all veer release. In and up, get to level two, don't block anyone on level one. From the guy head up to our tackle out. Okay? So <clears throat> it's important that they get up, to level two and climb to level three people. But it, the critical thing right here is that guard not block any level one defenders. And there it's going to be tough for them. You're going to have to coach him up on this and work on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because he is going to want to block someone coming off the edge, but he needs to avoid that person and get up to the force defender. All right. He may have to step around it. He may have to get some depth, but have when you're pulling, have your eyes open and get around any trash that's seeping through right there. Let's look at some uh, let's look at some cut ups on this. All right. So in this case right here, uh, I'm in a right ray. All right, so this is a tight end reverse. We're in an unbalanced slot. We're going to give it to the tight end uh, coming back around. See what kind of fakes we get inside. Looks pretty good. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, it was clear that these guys on level one tried to recover and couldn't do it. That's why we want to avoid them. All right, let's see what we have here. Now we're in a right wing. So our tight end knows anytime he has got a wing, that it's the wing getting the ball. So if you've got a tight end, big tight end, and he can't run, then get in a right wing, give it to that wing back coming around. All right, same deal. We're going to veer release down here. This guard is going to pull. He's going to avoid anyone on level one and get up to the force defender. Let's look, let's look at a couple of more of these. And we'll run. All right, now he's a slot. So now we're in a, a rocks wing. And uh, there he is as a slot. 
nothing changes. We're going to avoid these guys right here. We're not going to block them. We're going to get the guard around on the force defender. In this case right here, we'll run this guy off or else we'll push and crack if there's a safety here. Right here, he's probably going to just run that guy off. All right, he's stalking him. No, no problem. All right, that pulling guard shouldn't have messed with anybody on level one. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at that if that was a level one guy or maybe it was a outside backer. All right. All right, so now we've got an unbalanced uh, slot situation. Pretty deceptive play. Now look at about one more here. And you notice watching the film that we've run it several times against the same opponent. They just cannot relax, uh, react. All right. Got a lot of footage on that. Let me just get past all of it because I want to talk to you about play action passes. All right. So <clears throat> our play action pass off our inside blast. Let's talk about the blocking, first of all. Here it is versus an even front. Now we're going to ask our fullback to be a man. He's going to slide step, and then he is going to fill for that pulling guard and just take that guy out right in his crotch and uh, run him out of there, blast block him. <clears throat> Play side tackle right here doesn't have anyone on, so he'll step down hard at that three technique with his eyes on that play side backer. All right. You got the center. is going to block man on. He's got a one technique right there. He's going to block him. Uh, the backside guard is going to step down hard, get a hand on him with eyeballing the, uh, the backside linebacker. Backside tackle is blocking man on. Now, play side guard is responsible for the edge away from the play fake. So he's going to pull, get a little bit of depth once he crosses the center, and then he is going to take a picture of the quarterback with his butt and block the edge rusher there. All right, backside halfback executes a three-step cut like he would on the off-tackle trap, and he's going to block the edge guy on the side of the play fake. All right, your play side halfback and your fullback going to hit it up in there hard. All right. Three major plays and then a couple of little tags off of it. All right. The first one is the corner route. All right. We want the play side Y to push 12 yards vertical break for the corner. If he has got a cover two look, he's going to break that off at about 20 yards right here. But if it's a cover three or a man look, he's going to break for the corner. All right. Backside of the play fake. So this is an inside blast to the right. Backside wants to run at the free safety. If there's two safety, that safety closest to him. Run right at him for 12 yards and break the backside corner. And again, if they're in a cover two look, he's going to break it off. Uh, at about uh, it Break it off at about 14 yards to about 20 yards. All right. That's our corner route. A code word for that Chevy, all right? The post drag, all right? Now, we're going to push directly at the corner for 12 yards and break to the near side post, all right? The drag is going to in and up step, go flat, and start gaining ground once he gets, he's going to go linebacker depth until he gets to the center and start working for about a 12-yard depth right there. Blocking is the same. Okay, the, the play fake guard is going to pull and get the edge rusher to the backside. Backside halfback is going to three-step cut and get the edge rusher to the side of the play fake. All right, then the post wheel. All right, post wheel. The 
Backside tight end does the same thing he does on the post drag. He pushes at the corner. We want to make eye contact with this corner, get right in his face at 12 yards, break for the post. Now your halfback is going to run a wheel route. That requires the play side tight end to stay in and block because you don't have him blocking. Now, normally the halfback with three-step cut, block the edge guy here. But because he's going out for a route, we get a home call now by your tight end, and he stays in and blocks. Let's look at a couple of them. Here's the corner route where we got two corners. I don't know if it's a 22 or a 32. Let's see. It's a 22. So he should be running right at the near safety, breaking the corner. He should be easy release, pushing 12 yards and breaking the corner route. Notice the play side guard is going to pull and gets the edge rusher right here, backside. Backside halfback is going to do his three-step cut and the edge blocker off the tackle's butt this side. Okay. We've got everybody blocked. Now we come off of a block, but everybody blocked. And we throw the backside corner right there. All right. Let's look at the next one. Two tights. We're going to run at this safety, break the corner route. We're going to push 12 yards, break the corner route. We're going to fake the inside blast. Backside halfback's going to three-step cut, and he's going to get this edge guy. Play side guard's going to pull and get this edge guy. Everybody else is base blocking. <clears throat> Make it look run. Wide open. The key is put the ball in his gut, quarterback, and ride him up in there. Sell the fake. Let's look at another corner route. Again, you got your play side guard pulling. He's going to get the edge rusher off the backside. Your backside halfback's going to three-step cut and get the edge rusher here. Everybody else is going to base block, and we're going to fake the inside blast. Put it in his gut, ride him up in there. Wide open. It's interesting, guys, but our – Touchdown pass per completion ratio is better than 50%. All right, here we go again. Corner route. Okay, touchdown. Watch this one, then we'll move on. Could have thrown it either way. He throws it backside. All right, let's look at the wheel route. All right, the key thing is we're running a, a wheel to this backside right here. So he's going to look the corner up and break for the post. Because we don't have this guy blocking play side, he gives a home call, and now he's got to block the edge rusher, all right, because this guy's going to run the wheel route. We get a good play fake in there. Everything else is the same. All right, they were in, manned up and actually did a decent job there. Okay, a couple of tags off of uh, our basic uh, play action pass of our inside blast is the Y delay and uh, the reverse pass. And I'll show you a little bit of footage on them. But <clears throat> on the Y delay, your uh, halfback runs to the edge of the formation, gets vertical for 12 yards and breaks the post, tight end is going to block the uh, guy, the edge rusher, until he can see that halfback clear him out of his peripheral vision. Then he releases into the flats. All right, when we run our reverse pass, and we'll run this at least once a game, uh, we'll just uh, take advantage of, of people trying to stop the reverse, uh, the tight end in this particular formation. 
will go out and act like he's stalk blocking and then just run right by him. And you'll see how open they are. But let's briefly take a look at uh, these, all right? Here is the uh, Y delay. Okay, now that halfback was a little bit too wide. Let's look at one more. I think we run it a little bit better. All right, this halfback's going to get a little tighter this time. Turn There it is. That's the way we want to run it. All right. Now let's look at the reverse pass. All right. We're going to run the reverse to the wing up there or fake the reverse to the wing. He stalks and goes, and you want to talk about being wide open. Okay. Uh, doesn't get much easier than that. Let's look at this. Uh, this is a second or third round playoff game against Woodward Academy. And we had run the reverse a couple of times. And you can see that we are just wide open. All right, coaches, we're going to stop right there. And uh, we'll get into some dive option stuff uh, in our next session. But uh, thank you for being here and uh, keep it going. Thanks again, Coach Christmas. And for those of you guys listening to me, listen to me before you tune out. We will be having a Zoom session in the next few weeks after I get moved. Coach and I will be live. Yes, live. And we will be discussing questions and answers. And we're going to get you involved. So, hey, be on the lookout. Listen for that Zoom. I will be sending links to those of you guys that are subscribers so you can go ahead and tune in. So, hey, until next time, guys, hey, just remember, RTDB, baby.